a huge game for both concerned Liverpool though who've already lost here to Arsenal and Chelsea begin the day eight points behind United who themselves need to keep the pressure on their rivals they start today four points off the Gunners Sammy Hoopia's header interesting to see how both teams line up exactly Smitra has started on the left for Liverpool and Kuhl here as expected is playing off Emil Heskey is going to start on the right-hand side of midfield for United. Gary Neville to Phil Neville. Decent ball into Keane. Very good flick into Giggs. And oh. the shot did not match the builder. Yeah, he had more time than he knew, Ryan, and the thing about it as well. We'll see it here, Dan. Diego Forlan, just watch him just outside the 18-yard line. Nobody near him here. Diego is looking for the pass, but he doesn't get it. And now Traore, that's not a bad ball in, it was just over Vladimir Smicha. It's been kept in by El Hadz Juf. No, it hasn't. Well, you must say, Steve, Liverpool have made a bright start to the game. You know, the team that's taken the game to United, you haven't really settled down yet, United. Sylvester's clearance, only as far as Steven Gerrard. United just can't get hold of the ball at the moment. Smeecher, real opportunity this, still going Smeecher, he's just behind Heskey, oh what a challenge by Silvestro to block El Hadzdu, vitally important for the Frenchman. I just think United went to sleep for a second there Steve. Now Van Nistelrooy trying to relieve a bit of pressure because the opening 11 and a half minutes have been pressure for United. Now O'Shea. He's looking for some help from Quinton Fortune. We've got a ball into the penalty area, which was cleared by Bishkan. Phil Neville did tremendously well against Gerrard. Well, there was no way he was going to try. He's just going to kick that, Phil. I mean, this is a great build-up as well. I think he just caught a little bit slack. It's a little bit of a break there. He does the right thing, Smice. I try to knock it back the way, but... Very important that Michael Sylvester was there. Yeah, this is a challenge. He had to make it, didn't he? Yeah, it come up and hit him in the hand, Steve, but certainly unintentionally. The header then from Ferdinand. Now Gary Neville. Now can United get at Liverpool here? Forlan. Good balance from Giggs in towards Forlan. Oh, he couldn't get it from away Stuck from between his feet. Stuck between his feet. in the half hour mark Steve Finnan for Liverpool now Juve Gerard Traore in a forward position and there's a bit of space here for Murphy who's not been picked up he'll always want it on his right foot for a curling effort from Finn and away by Ferdinand. And Mr. Roy couldn't get hold of it. And it's back with Traore. Now Gary Neville. Kuehl popping up on the left again. That's a poor ball from him and comfortable for Ferdinand. Fortune to Forlan, who did well and was then fouled by Kuehl. The two front men are outnumbered when they get the ball in those situations, though, aren't they? Yeah, quite hugely. It'll be difficult to break Liverpool down. Phil Neville. 
Forlan. Can he pull it back for Van Nistelrooy? It came off Hoopier. Here you go, Forlan's gone over the advertising hoarding. Uh, Please the crowd in the cop end there. He's all right, I'm sure. I hope he is anyway. <laughs> I think the ball from Phil Neville, and he just turns it back, it hits Hippio, but he can't stop. He felt it, that's well, for sure. Most, yeah, it was one of them desperate ones you try to keep in. United have a corner, which Keane tried to touch on. It comes to Phil Neville. He might get a second bite at the cherry, two blocks from Liverpool, both from Phil Neville. But he's won it back. This is better from United. Giggs. Free kick, fouled by Smeecher. Yeah, I just looked at the wild challenge by Smeecher. You've got to say, Steve, all the pressure Liverpool have had, they've not tested the goalkeeper, Tim Howard, have they? Let's see if United can test the Liverpool goalkeeper, Jersey Dudek. Giggs. Oh, it was a touch there and it was handball. Ruud van Nistelrooy handballed it there. It's the move we saw him score against Rangers and Portsmouth from. Yeah, it was a little bit too high for him. I mean, the referee could have quite booked him for it. I think he might do. Oh, it's the ball in from Ryan Giggs. Oh, this hit up his hand. Finnan, seen a lot of the ball on that right side. Played in the Fulham team that drew 1-1 with United last season. Didn't play in their defeat at Old Trafford. Fresh from a victory, of course, against his former club for Liverpool last time out in the league. Now Kuhl. Went for goal on his right foot. Just over the United crossbar. Yeah, good effort, but they're doing the right thing. You push him in your right foot because you think that's not the best of both two feet he's got, and it isn't. Just can't keep this down, but it hits it well enough. El Hadj Juf and John O'Shea. Juf got the cross in. Heskey was hanging. Couldn't get any direction on the header, thankfully. Yeah, he couldn't get any direction. The most important thing, Steve, had no support. Now Van Nistelrooy. Forlan bursting into the penalty area. It's still Van Nistelrooy battling with Hoopier. Oh, he got the break, Hoopier. He got the break. We were hoping Rude would get it, but centre-half was a bit lucky there. There will be a minimum of one minute of time added on at the end of the first half, which we're now into. Smeech's ball in. Keane is back there helping out. United with the best defensive record in the entire Premiership have stood firm in this first half. Forlap. Gets it back from Gary Neville. Now Phil Neville. Fortune is out to his left. Final few seconds of the first half. Ball in from Quinton Fortune. Oh, Traore didn't fancy that, he had to head it behind. Yeah, he wasn't sure, he didn't, well, he, I think he realised, he must have felt the heat of Diego behind him and thought, quite rightly so, I'm taking no chances. We'll see a bit more of that, delivery from the likes of Fortune and Giggs. Yeah. Well, will something come of it? You have to be very quick. This will be the last action of the first half. What a fantastic action it would be if that ball was in the back of the Liverpool net. Have to get on with this, United. In from Giggs. Keane got a touch, and there wasn't a second white shirt with a touch. And the half-time whistle does go. It is goalless at the end of the first half. United with that. Best defensive record in the Premiership have stood a lot of pressure from the Liverpool side, who, despite having the majority of the possession and that fascinating battle between the two skippers in the centre of the park, haven't really forced a save of any note out of Tim Howard. In fact, both goalkeepers have been fairly redundant because both defences have been on top, and that's the reason for the half-time scoreline at Anfield, which is Liverpool nil, United nil. 
Welcome back to Anfield. No changes from either side at the break. United looking to win for the second season running, of course, here. Having uh, got the three points last year, which stopped an awful record of six successive defeats against Liverpool in all competitions. And they went on, of course, thankfully, to do the league double over them. Sammy Hoopy was the captain of Liverpool then, and he isn't now. There's an early chance from a long Gary Neville throw, which fall and flicks on. Oh, and Hoopy are just about hooked away. There was a little bit of hesitation in the Liverpool defence there. And they've turned defence into attack here with Vladimir Smicha. Out to El Hadjou. Early ball in from him. Tim Howard came and came very well. Well, it's a good catch for Tim so early on in the game, Steve. Goalkeepers like to get a touch, particularly from a cross ball. It's a United free kick. Yeah, I think Danny Murphy just did a little pushing in John O'Shea. What perhaps will have been the message from the manager at half-time, Paddy? Well, I think the manager will be, was, won't be too happy with some of the passing in the first half. It was a bit, bit slack. And maybe want to be... hold the ball up a bit more up the front. Kuhl, they've got to keep an eye on him as well. Heskey's down as Kuhl goes for goal. And Tim Howard makes the first save of the game, and a pretty decent one as well. Well, you know, Steve, you can't give this fella any room. 18, 20 yards out, he's such a nice striker of the ball. And that was a great strike with his left foot. <coughs> well, he gets a little bit of room, and good save by the goalkeeper. Putting Dudek under pressure. We know what happened last year, and Giggs went direct for goal, and Dudek made up for the poor kicker. Well, what a wonderful effort from Ryan Giggs. That's one of the most awkward balls to hit, and I mean, he hits this fantastic first time. That's going in the net, no question. I tell you, Dudek done tremendously well to keep that out. Tremendous effort. Keen. Bit of space now for Giggs. Fallout. Gary Neville to his right. Will he make it? He will. But uh, Kuehl is back there, just left him a little bit too much to do, but that's gone straight to Fallout again. He's got Phil Neville inside of him. He's only got Van Nistelrooy to aim for. Away by Finnan, but only as far as Fortune. Liverpool now look a little hesitant back there. Keane. Better stuff from United. Away by Bishkam, but that'll come to Gary Neville. Fortune to Ferdinand. Better passing from United. Well, they look a bit more adventurous this half, Steve, as I said. Giggs, chance across with his left foot. Great ball in, Van Nistelrooy! Did he touch it? Giggs is claiming it. Well, no, frankly, who cares? United are 1-0 up just before the hour mark at Anfield. Nobody touched it. That's gone straight into the back of the net, Steve. I think Rudd's distracted the goalkeeper. Dangerous balls there, men swinging from the left-hand side. In on top of the goalkeeper, nobody's touched it. That's gone straight in the net. Ryan Giggs' goal, no question. Uh, we just said a few seconds ago, United have been a bit... Well, maybe. Did it hit him in the hair? And I mean the hair, literally. No, he didn't. As I said, Steve, United have come out the second half. A bit more adventurous, no question about that. <laughs> this is Gerard. <laughs> Trying to pick out Cinema Pongo. Haskey's header to Juve. Kuehl, dangerous, Howard gathered. A little bit of hesitancy by Gary, he holds his hands up. I think Gary thinks, well, yeah, a little bit of hesitancy could have been caused problems. <laughs> Ironic cheer from the United fans as Dudek gathered that one in a very similar situation to last season, of course, where he didn't. He didn't stop the effort from Giggs, though, and that's what separates the two sides at the moment. Sylvester and Ferdinand, well, the whole back four have been awesome today. Well, let's hope they'll look that for the last 20 minutes, Steve. Not so. Fortune to Keane. Fallen wanted that early. Keane held on to it. 
Fortune's bursting into the penalty area. Four lands cross, it's a good one. It might still come to Ryan Giggs here. In! Two for Giggs, two for United. Can you believe it? They've turned this game right round and they've now put themselves in a real winning position. Well, as I said, Steve, from the start of the second half, it's a different team. Well, the ball comes straight across the goal from Diego Forland. Rude tries to get a touch, it eludes everybody. Ryan just steadies himself and powers it. I think the fortunate touch off Hippie is the one that defeats the goalkeeper. We'll see here, it just takes a little deflection off Hippie. I think that's the one that defeats the goalkeeper. Well, he's delighted with that, Ryan, isn't he? I think Cinema Pongol made sure of that free kick. Well, they're good at it, foreign players, aren't they? Gerard's still only 23. Hupia makes his way forward, so too does Bishka. 16 minutes to go. In from Gerard, teasing ball, well dealt with by United. And by Sylvester in particular. Metallic. Finnan in a forward position. Gerard to Cinema Pongo. Who's got the ball across here, and Kuehl. And it's the same situation as last season. Liverpool will feel they're back in it at 2-1, thanks to the sixth Liverpool goal for Harry Kuehl. Well, they certainly are back in it, Steve. I mean, I think there's a little bit of fortune about this as well, the cross that comes in. I mean, Steve Gerrard does the one... Mikel Sylvester tries to block it. Just drops in Kuehl's left foot and he hits it as sweet as you like. Yeah, Mikel Sylvester just misses it and drops in Kuehl's left foot. Concentration at the moment. Keane. Is he fouled by Bishkan? No. Traore. What a pick-me-up that is for Liverpool, because they were down and out at 2-0. And as you say, the crowd had lost hope as well, and it was beginning to filter through to the players. Now the tails are up again. Gerard, Cinema Pongol goes through. No penalty. And Tim Howard finally gets the hands on the ball. I think the referee's quite right. He's looking to go down, Steve. He's looking to go down. Well, it's a good ball through from Gerard. Yeah, there's nothing in that. It was always going down, wasn't it? Oh, Tim Howard. Cinema Pongo. He's got to be offside, surely. Well, Ferdinand was back anyway. The flag didn't go up. Well, a few nervous moments for United. And for Tim Howard on that occasion. We've got away with it, though. Yeah, that's his second bad kick he's had today. Well, obviously, a lot of nerves out there now from both sides. Bishkan's ball in. Heskey, Murphy, what a challenge from Sylvester. Fantastic, but how the hell did he get in there, Steve, when nobody picked him up? He doesn't get enough on this. This is a chance. United well, that's great defending. The field. Yeah, that's a great chance for Mikhail Sylvester. What a great touch there because Danny Murphy thinks, well, I've only got to guide this past the goalkeeper. Two more nervy minutes for United to hold on. Two minutes. The challenge from Gary Neville. Great challenge from Gary Neville again, and Kuehl's milking it as well. Great challenge from Gary. O'Shea trying to pick out Van Nistelrooy. Traore's lost out to Darren Fletcher. Oh, and he was oh, trying to find Oh, you'd expect run. young Darren Fletcher to do better than that. You'd expect him to do better than that, Steve. And at the other end, here come Liverpool. Kuehl back on his feet. Ball in. Ferdinand got a touch. O'Shea needs to hammer this away. He does, but only as far as Finnan. 
last minute of stoppage time. Could you get more nervy? In towards Heskey. What a chance. What a chance. Great ball in from Murphy. He's found a bit of space in there. If he hits it, it's a goal. But he hits it off his other foot. He just hits it off his other foot and falls over. What a chance. Well, he's made a total mess of that, but what a chance for the equaliser that was. And what a let-off for United. They just need to keep it inside the Liverpool half now. Emil Heskey will be reliving that one through his mind all evening. What a chance it was, Steve. A few more seconds to be waited, wasted with Nicky Butt to come on. Might not get on because we've nearly had the two minutes of stoppage time now. Just hold on to it, they haven't done. Last throw of the dice for Liverpool. Gary Neville's missed kick. They haven't timed though, Liverpool. United have hung on and done it. Their 51st league win over their arch rivals, thanks to two goals from Ryan Giggs. United go on and win their ninth Premiership game this season, and they win at Anfield for the second successive season, and they keep hot on the trails of Chelsea and of Arsenal. Liverpool 1, United 2. I, I felt this.